Who doesn't love their cell phone? They're amazing tools. You can reach anybody, anywhere, anytime, even at work. Now, while that accessibility, oh, oops, sorry about that. I got a little distracted by the ding. How often does that happen to you? It can happen a lot. We're like Pavlov's dog. We hear the ding and we want to right away go to our phone. But if you do that in a work situation, that actually can hurt your reputation and it can be thought of as extremely rude. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you on how to use your cell phone and when to take it out. Hi, I'm Adriana Girdler, president of Cornerstone Dynamics and a productivity expert. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you seven tips on when to take out your cell phone and how to use it properly so it helps your career, not hinders it. Look good, use filters. Now I'm not talking about a photo and using the filters of the photo, but I want you to think about filtering what you actually put out in social media, which you happen to be using on your phone. We now have so much accessibility that people can see everything that you're doing and you really need to now, from a career standpoint, think about what you're actually posting. So put the lens of a filter. 10 years from now, if someone saw it, would you be okay with what you posted? You'll be amazed. I come across this a lot with those who are new into the working world that they still post as if they're still in university. Well, I hate to say it, people judge. And if you really want to uh, improve your professional career or move up that corporate ladder, if that's your choice, then you really have to think of the long-term consequence because as we know, things don't come off the internet and people will find that photo that perhaps you didn't want to have posted. Or worse yet, you're posting stuff that is still like you're in college, but yet people are seeing that and it's like, wait a minute, that's not professional at all. That's really not where you want to go. So think of what you post through the lens of a filter. Look up, not down. So what do I mean by that with a phone? When you're in business meetings, conferences, and you really don't know anybody, what's the first thing that we do? Phone, we're looking down constantly because it's safe. And we can go to all our social media <laughs> or we can check our emails. Now, networking is a really important part of business. And if you're constantly on your phone, you're not out there meeting people. Check out my video on networking. There's some really good tips there that can help you. But the big thing is put away your phone. Your phone has value in order to link LinkedIn with people so you can do it immediately. Maybe even get a picture of somebody that's gonna help you to remember them. But you really should not be on it where it's taking you away from what you have to do. So look up, don't look down, and try to put your phone away. Excuse me. Now, for those of you who are closer to my age, you know who that is, that's Steve Martin. For those of you who are younger, younger, go look it up because Steve Martin is hilarious. But on that note from a cell phone, what you need to realize is you have to have some manners when it comes to the phone. I know sometimes we have to bring the phone with us, I get it, but it's really rude to just hop on the phone because you have this important phone call without telling anybody that, hey, I have this important phone call. So if you're going into the meeting, Take a few minutes to talk to the person who's running the meeting and say, listen, I have my phone with me, it's on vibrate, I'm expecting this really important phone call. When it comes in, I'll excuse myself and go outside. That is a wonderful thing that you can do from a cell phone etiquette that the people in the meeting and the person who's running it will be greatly appreciated for. It'll also boost your reputation. For your ears only. Now, this is a pet peeve of mine. I hate it when I'm out in public and I know it's public, and so I shouldn't be having it as a pet peeve, but I do. And I hear someone else's conversation, like their whole conversation, particularly like when you're on the train and you're coming in and out of the city. That sucks. Really? Do I really want to know what's going on? Now, worse yet is when I hear business conversations, because there's some confidentiality stuff that can be in there. Who knows? Maybe I'm a competitor and you don't even know. So ensure that if you have to have a business call, do it privately go into a room, take it. I really don't want to know what's going on, but there could be a confidentiality issue that you have to be aware of as well. And you're also respecting the people around you. And if you do have to take it in public, definitely use your headset in order to talk to them because you know, in order to hear the other person, you got to turn up your volume and really, do you really want to share that conversation with the rest of the world? So ensure that you go somewhere private, 
from a standpoint of confidentiality and you and your organization will be very grateful for that. To text or not to text? That is the question. Shakespeare, right? To be or not to be? Anyway, I hope you like that. <laughs> it is a good question. When do you text, when do you not text? If you're new in the business world, then you have to realize that this is not like your pre-business days of constantly texting because that's how people would communicate. In the business world, we actually do like face-to-face -face conversations. We do pick up the phone for really important things. But there is value to texting. Now, I kind of have some golden rules that I use that I want to share with you. Email is used for communication, but sometimes I send out an email that I really need for them to see because it has an attached document that may need their signature, etc. And I will text. And I kind of have that rule with my clients that I say, listen, if I text you, that means I need to have you respond immediately. So texting is actually used as an urgent, as an urgent tool, an urgency. So I don't abuse it. So I'm not there to say, hey, how are you? It's like, hey, I just sent you an email, please check it out. And then that way they know they don't have to go through their slew of emails trying to find mine, which they may not find because they may have like two, 300 that have been dropped in for a day. So how are they gonna sift through that? So text, use it as a tool for urgency and get into the habit of just doing that when you really need to get someone's attention. It's phenomenal and it really will help you be more efficient and effective and also give you good phone etiquette with it. Park the shopping cart. Huh? What? Okay. Here's what I call a no-brainer, but I'm surprised that people still do it. Do not shop online at work. <laughs> okay? For me, I'm quite surprised when I come across individuals who do this. And I have one story of someone who had a co-op student come in and they are actually standing behind the person for literally 10 minutes and the person was shopping. And then they finally tapped him on the shoulder and said, uh, excuse me. And they're like, oh, 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 hi, uh, how are you? And they got embarrassed. So if you feel embarrassed because you're shopping online, that means you shouldn't be doing it. There's a time and place for it. Now I'm not saying don't shop online. You can do that at work at lunch, but don't use it during the office hours when you're supposed to get work done. It really will hurt your reputation that you're just someone who doesn't understand time management and doesn't care about what needs to be done for the organization. It's not a reputation that you want. So park the shopping cart, use it at appropriate times. Ideally, use it in the evening on your own personal time. Silence the ding. That ding, whether it's a uh, ring tone that you use for a call coming in, whether it's to tell you of a text, your email, or any social media platform that you may be on, silence it. It is a killer, it is a time waster, it is a distractor. So be respectful of the people around you. Silence it so that you're not then kind of drawn to it in order to reply to it. And that way it's just gonna ensure that your reputation is intact because you're focusing on what is at hand and not being distracted by your cell phone. Now that you know how to master cell phone etiquette at work, I'd like to hear from you if you're ready to take this on. If you are, write down Etiquette Master in the comment section below. Please subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and pass this along to all your family and friends. This is something that everyone could benefit from. Until my next video, see you later. Bye.